thanks all for joining. I know it's Saturday morning. Definitely, it hasn't been the you know top of your mind thing to do on a Saturday. So let's do a formal welcome. Welcome to all of you to Shivnada University. We are mightily pleased to have you here with us. You know, today is also the Teachers Day, right? In India, we do celebrate the Teachers Day. And while, of course, it's a celebration for or and, you know, in some sense, uh, geared towards acknowledging the contribution of the teachers, the thing is, it's a, you know, journey that cannot happen without students, right? So it, it is a shared thing that we have and at Shivana the University, probably more than anywhere else, we strongly believe in that, that it's a shared journey. You will be with us for a while now, maybe about four years for most of you. But, you know, the idea is that this undergraduate program is a lot about exploration, right? It's a lot about figuring out, well, not only what you want to do and study, but also in some sense, figuring out a lot about yourself. You know, you can't really go along. This is probably for most of you, uh, you know, stepping into adulthood. You know, this is the time when you start being yourself. And that's what makes this undergraduate program so much more special. And by design, Shivna, the university allows you to do, allows you to explore a lot within, you know, academics, outside academics, being yourself, figuring out yourself in all dimensions, in, you know, basically becoming a citizen that we want you to be at the end of the program, right? So it is, a fascinating journey. I think unlike anything else in your life, these undergraduate programs, even now when I look back, I've done, you know, uh, my PhD and I've been in some of the best places and studied at, uh, you know, some of the top universities and so on and so forth. But when I look back, the undergraduate program, and I wasn't so lucky like you guys, where Shivnada University has designed a program to let you do that, right? Let you do that exploration. I was in a program and I studied physics, by the way, before I did my PhD in economics, that shows how exploration matters and you know how finding what you want to do can continue till you know till all your life. So uh, but when I look back to my undergraduate days, it's always fond memories. I mean, that does not mean that every single day of my undergraduate studies was enjoyable and fun and nothing bad ever happened nothing you know, there were uh, not not that there weren't days when i was down and sad and so on so a lot of those days will also happen because well not right now but at some point you'll be away from your families too right for the first time ever and that's again something very very important and that will be the time when you'll be away from your family, things that you have known all your life, right? All your life, you have been with these people and suddenly you will be with a different set of people, different set of people who, by the way, will no longer be less caring, right? The faculty members, the teachers, the, you know, support staff, the uh, every bit of in the university and your friends and you'll make new friends and figure out ways to build up relationship, there will be heartbreaks, there will be, you know, all kinds of things. But looking back, when you grow up and when you are like at my age, almost on the verge of being old, right? <laughs> so uh, then you look back to undergraduate days, you always cherish those. So, so in some sense, you know, talk to your future self also then think about, okay, what is it that you would do best in the future and try to see if those things you can explore today. Yeah. So that's one of the things that I wanted to say that, you know, while you are at SNU, do not shy away from doing things that you have some interest, but never thought you could do. Maybe take up a, you know, uh, course 
in dance, maybe take up a course in um, computer science, things that might be difficult for you, but things that might interest you, things that maybe may seem distant to you right now, but things that intrigue you, right? So do that. Also take part in all, all as many club activities, different kinds of things that happens around the thing. If you're interested in uh, photography or film making or whatever, right? You can take up a club, right? Similarly, the department societies, we actively, you know, involved in this. There's a lot of learning happens. I, of course, know about the economic society very closely. They, for example, conduct debates and uh, discussions and so on and so forth. Right? This is an opportunity like no none other. This is the you know an environment where failure is the least costly thing that you can that can happen to you. In any other phase of your life, failures can hurt you. But this is the time when you can do experiments, fail without practically any cost right so so it's very important and the second that's the second part of it that very important to understand that it's not always all success failure is very much part of our lives right and without knowing how to fail and how to get back from there it's impossible to succeed aspire for the highest of the things that you can right because if you don't challenge yourself if you don't push yourself if in fact, if your professors are not doing that enough in your course, tell them that, you know, I'm not getting enough from this course uh, because that's why you are to be pushed, to be stretched, to be, you know, tested at that level where you can figure out, okay, what is the metal, what, what kind of metal you are made of, right? And you can prepare for the rest of your life. So failure is going to be very much part of your, because, Exploration and failure, those come hand in hand. You can't shy away from failure and still say, oh, no, no, I want to explore a lot, right? So failure will be th there. And failure, not only in academics, but in your personal relationships, in trying to do something that maybe starting a startup, maybe, you know, uh, thinking of a, uh, an art project that never takes off, right? So, so there can be many dimensions of failure, but get used to that. That's life. And don't just let the failure, you know, bog you down. Don't brood over it. Just go on to the next thing that you want to do. The other thing that I wanted to mention is and that, that uh, the international office is there for you to, you know, to guide you, to help you and all. You will be part of the university like any other student, part of the department like any other student, but in on top of that, we have that because we know there are certain challenges which are different for some of you, which might be different for some of you than the, than the rest, right? So feel free to approach us for anything at all. Of course, your first point of contact for academics will always be the departments, but nevertheless, even for academics, but also for other things, logistical issues and things like that, that you have. Um, me personally, I'm always happy to talk to the students. You know, my office doors are open always, provided nobody else is in the office at that point, which is a rare thing these days. <laughs> but uh, what I'm saying is do not be shy to approach me or any of my colleagues here and talk to them, right? So, so we'll now introduce you to the international office. So, so Dr. Bartha, I think he has spoken a bit about what international office is and what SNAU is. So now uh, I think we'll start alphabetically. We can start with Archil. Uh, so she'll introduce herself. Hi, good morning, everyone, and welcome to SNU. It is so nice to see you all. And I hope you and your families are doing great. So uh, my name is Achal and I'm the executive assistant in the office of the international partnerships. And basically I have to take care of all the functionings and operations of the office and making it run smoothly because there are a lot of important meetings and partnership visits happening all the time. So yeah, so that we make sure as a team completely. And also I take care of the Dean's uh, schedule, manager schedule and take care of other tasks and projects and visits happening in the uh, university wide. 
so in case you need to meet with uh, dr chatterji or any one of us then you can directly check with me for a schedule and time and uh, like i wish you all the best hello everyone uh, myself harshita tripathi i work with the office of international partnerships uh, i joined in january this year i can i can tell you that you're missing a lot by not being on campus these days because the campus looks really beautiful i stay on campus and i can i can you know vouch for that but what you're not missing right now is uh, what others and a lot of your peers and friends might be missing is is constant classes and engagement with the faculties you know it has been difficult build and and challenging transitioning everything virtually but but you are one of those fortunate people who are getting to start the semesters on time who are getting to do their readings on time and the schedules on time so difficult moment for all but embrace it that is come take one step at a time breathe at a time but but what's more important is that whenever things open whenever you guys are back on campus uh will i leave the office location in the chat box you know it's d130 feel free to come in feel free to sit talk chat initially things might get little overwhelming for you it gets for every first year then in your case it's again very special because you are like a pandemic incoming batch right so uh but but trust me things will settle very well you have uh, adorable seniors you have adorable friends and peers and you'll make many more once you come you know and feel free to send emails uh, you might have pami's email id i'll drop in the chat box our email id group email id still we meet i think email is the way to get connected stay communicated international offices open and welcome to any ideas if you have experienced anything if you want to share anything if you have any inputs for us you know drop emails and walk to our office that's all yeah stay safe and and fingers crossed hope to meet soon so hello everyone so i am pami so basically i have spoken to major of the junk right uh, either over email or either over calls right so basically i look after the admissions and uh, also i look after the inbound and outbound students so anything uh, which is bothering you if it's academically or personally if it's not getting solved by the respective departments surely you can drop me an email and yes obviously you are good to uh, come to the 130 and we can meet us all but yes uh, anything particularly uh, you facing uh, issues anything you know, logistically or something else, you can drop me an email and uh, we all are here to help you and uh, seriously uh, we welcome you all uh, thank you so much for joining us good morning to one all um, my name is nivedita i'm a student from kuwait um I have a few questions regarding the student exchange program uh, or the student. I don't know how exactly it works. So, uh, can you please elaborate on that? As in, do I get to do semesters abroad, or um, how does it work? And do I get to uh, study the entire two years, or the third and fourth year of my? I I'm a B Tech computer science student, by the way. Yeah. And uh, yeah, how, can you please explain how that works? So we have. Uh, you know um, relationships with some universities which allow you to go and study there right and there are two kinds of relationships that we have one which are called exchange relationships which basically allows you to go and study in these universities and then you don't have to pay tuition fees because we in exchange take in their students uh, and they don't pay tuition fees to us so but uh, that's in limited numbers more common is mm, the possibility of going there and study uh, doing a study abroad <clears throat> uh, so our relationships entail you certain discounts but you still have to pay some fees right so for example with mm, both berkeley as well as uh, wisconsin madison those that's the kind of the relationship we have right and you can go there during a semester or during the summer typically students spend one semester or the summer i don't think you can spend a couple of years there then you'll fall short of credits at snu because snu allows only certain percentage of your credits to be transferred so what happens is all of these programs will have some application deadline and so on and so forth and pami is the person who manages all of it as as she mentioned right so she will send out emails that okay do you want to go to berkeley do you want to go to 
Canada? Do you want to go to um, uh, whatever Queensland, uh, UQ in Australia, so some of, or Bologna or whatever, right? So, and then you apply, and you know from there on you have to basically follow the process, filling the forms, etc., taking care of visas, etc. You know, that's it. So you go there, but also you have to uh, ensure that what courses you are taking and so on, you have to make a plan for that so that you can get um, the credit transfers when you come back. Okay, That you'll have to work with your undergraduate advisors in each department and PAMI will guide you through that process. Uh, okay, so this is for all basically, but uh, so here's the thing, you know, I'm sure you might have looked upon Google searched SNUR law before actually enrolling, right? So here, here's the question. What was that one spot or place which you're reading to come to when you come back to campus? I can tell you mine, okay? So I, I, I'll stay on campus, but these days I'm working remotely from my hometown and uh, what I'm reading to is it's, it's lush green right now monsoons and beautiful right there so i want to go back and and be there in the you know beside beside the lake over there i've heard it's actually very full with water and and it's all green out there so i'm imagining that the moment i go back to campus i'm going to take a cup of tea and sit beside the lake i'll join you yeah i'm waiting for okay. that yeah perfect yeah okay rishi wants to speak right Yes, I would uh, really like to visit the indoor sports complex. We've been missing that too a lot. That's true. Campus is just wonderful. It's maybe maybe because I was missing it so much. It looks so much more beautiful. Uh, it's green screen right now. The white birds on the lake. You know, it was just amazing. You know, we have a very beautiful comment from Anusha in the chat area. It, it, she says that I would like to sit on the grass with my friends I've made in my class. I have yeah. a perfect choice to imagine the uh, uh, college life. I know. You know and that area is very popular with students, faculty, everyone alike. You can imagine. The lake is yeah. nice. The, the girls there. The class. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't have any, you know, <laughs> any large uh, leanings, but I think one of the things that I'd like to do, you know, when I get on campus would probably just play a game of football or something because it's just been it's been a really long time mm. since yeah. you know I've been able to get that kind of yeah, activity so yeah I guess that I would be no, see, that's the charm of isn't it? and also the thing is you know sometimes because faculty and many of the other colleague staff and so on they also stay on um, campus you get to play with them. I mean, it's faculty and students playing together and all, right? So that is something that we miss all the time, this interaction and being out with students and playing and on. Yeah. So Naraini is saying, mine isn't really a particular spot, but I really want a freshest party to be held once we are physically in the campus. Surely you guys will have. <laughs> There will be lots of parties, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, lots cannot of agree parties. Enough. Cannot agree enough to that. Yeah, pressures and favors are like close to heart, you know, for any student, I guess. So, yeah, definitely. No, I think it's whatever um, was said before that I really just want to go to the lake. I've heard that there are so many dogs and there are so many, um, there is so much greenery and the sunsets and all are beautiful, I've heard from there. So, I just want to go see what that's all about. It just sounds like such a dream. Okay, so we end here today. Uh, thank you again. You know, it was lovely to see you, talk to you. It's the best thing that I could have done on a teacher's day. So thank you for being here. I really look forward to seeing you on campus, but even, you know, otherwise I'm there. We are all there. We would love to interact with you as much as possible. So feel free to reach out to us. We may not be able to reach out to you. So you have to reach out to me. That's another thing, by the way, that changes from school to college, right? In school, uh, yeah. people, uh, teachers are after you to do things, but here you have to go after the professors. So remember that, right? Thank you all and see you soon. Yeah, stay safe so far. Thank Bye. you.